between Redshift 4.5 and, and Redshift 12 in Galaxy's time. It's kind of like 400 million years after the Big Bang compared with, say, 800 million years after the Big Bang. You're basically cutting in half the amount of time you're letting a galaxy grow. And so this object was first discovered using... It's Redshift 12 object. That's Redshift. Mm -hmm. Object 12 was discovered as a candidate using JWST. That, you know, here are a whole bunch of objects that could be Redshift 12. All right, well, let's confirm that. And so there became this sort of an effort to use spectroscopy to make sure that you could see that it wasn't just an image showing that this was a Redshift 12 object. And indeed, they showed the spectroscopy suggesting it was. Well, we need one more confirmation in my mind to make sure that it's really true. And so they used a different telescope. Mm -hmm. It was ALMA. It's sitting uh, almost four miles up in the Alta Plana in South America. And they were looking in the millimeter waves, in radio waves, using these telescopes that are just remarkable, a tremendous uh, technology. And they were able to find a spectral feature. A spectral feature. That, was, that had nothing to do with what JWST saw and confirmed that it exists at Redshift 12 with 99.999% certainty. And so we now have to really think about what it means. What it means to make a galaxy that quickly. That's right. And one big issue is if you have to make a black hole first or if you have to make a star first in order to make your galaxy, you're screwed. You don't have enough time. How do you build a galaxy from the beginning of the universe? Okay, so this makes wonderful clickbait where the news story says, oh, we'll have to revisit the Big Bang. Yes. We'll have to rethink. Yeah, we might have to. Our cherished theories uh -huh. have to be. Uh -huh. the, the, these are common words. It happens all the time. In the press. Right. And rather than simply say, we don't know how to make galaxies. That's right. That's a way simpler. <laughs> <laughs> this this is where we are right now. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. The basics of like the time when the Big Bang up to the time that matter and energy separates. Right. That's uh, three hundred and eighty thousand years or so. Right. That's still secure. That's There's still secure. nothing that's challenging that. So the work that Cobb and Turner did in the early universe book, even decades ago, still applies. It's that part that comes forward that makes it difficult. At which, for a while, we call the Dark Ages, right? So no stars are yet made. Uh, the universe has to expand and cool enough for matter to coalesce and make stuff. That's right. That's okay? right. Okay, so 